stabilizer for my 120 gallon aquarium. Since I'm going to be investing a lot of money into fish for my aquarium, I decided to go with a good UV sterilizer. I didn't want to have to deal with any fish disease and like ick and marine velvet. So I decided to go with a, a bigger UV sterilizer. I got the Emperor Aquatics Smart UV Sterilizer. This is the 40 watt. It's rated for 250 gallons of tank water, which I'm, I'm only at like 160, but I decided to go a little bit bigger. This one, when I looked at it, since I have my sump down in my basement, I didn't really care about how big it was because I had plenty of room in my basement to set it up. But I didn't realize how big this thing is. This thing is its actually 45 inches long. As you can see, it's almost as long as my tank is. And it's three and a half inches wide. And it's got a 40 watt UV bulb that goes into it. So uh, for the first like two months, I'm going to set the flow up to around 250 gallons per hour just to make sure it kills all the parasites that are on any of my fish. I don't have a quarantine tank for my aquarium. I just get the fish and put it in my tank. So I've had ick before in my tank, so I want to make sure I get rid of all the ick parasites when I add all these new fish. But then uh, eventually, after like two months, I want to cut the flow up to about 600 gallons per hour, just enough to where it clears the water from, you know, the algae spores and all that, because I don't want it to kill the microplankton in my tank. But I'll show you guys how I, how I'm going to install this and how everything hooks up. This is the Aquion Quiet Flow. I got this one because it adjusts the flow rate. It, you can adjust it from 300 gallons per hour up to 600 gallons per hour. So at, I'm going to mount my UV sterilizer about two feet above the pump, so I'll be getting around you know 250 gallons per hour. And then up, after two months, I can turn it back up to 600 gallons per hour. And the inlet and outlet of the UV sterilizer has a bulkhead. And I'll show you guys how I hook this up for a hose barb. It has a bulkhead with a one and a half pipe adapter. And so I just got went to Lowe's and got this. It's a one and a half inch bushing. It's a reducer bushing, and then it has a threaded outlet in it that's three quarters. So then I got a three quarter inch hose barb that I can just hook a hose, three quarter inch hose, right up to it. And then this just screws right on to the UV sterilizer. So then I'm going to have a hose hooked on this one for the in input, and then the output is the same way. And then it just has a, a gasket here to keep the water sealed. And the, the Emperor Aquatics has a, a lifetime guarantee on the actual product. The warranty is void if you have a leak. So before you hook it up and actually put the bulb inside of it and turn it on, you want to run the water through and just make sure there's no leaks. And this is the... Uh, Quartz sleeve. So before you install this, you want to take it apart and make sure all the gaskets are sealed. And then you want to install this into the UV sterilizer and run water through it just to make sure there's no water that gets inside. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to set this up and see if there's any moisture that's leaking inside the UV sterilizer before I put the bulb in. So after you have the quartz sleeve installed with the adapter on it, you just place it down inside to where it's flush 
with the threads and there's a gasket right in between here and then the you just screw the adapter onto it and it only needs to be hand tightened and that's going to push the seal down against to make it watertight so right now with this tight here the inside of this quart sleeve should have no moisture in it at all so to check this I'm going to hook it up to the water pump in my bathtub and just run it for a half hour and make sure there's no moisture that goes into the quartz sleeve so then I'll know I can run the bulb and no moisture get into the bulb I'm going to roll up a paper towel and stick it in the, the end here and when I take the paper towel out it should be completely dry and then I'll know that there's no leaking in there and no moisture so now I have the the input hose barb adapter hooked up to it and then I got the output hose barb adapter installed so now I'm going to run it in my bathtub hook the pump up to it and then I'm going to insert paper towel into the quartz sleeve and then when I pull this out after about 30 minutes if there's any moisture on this then I'll know that the, some gaskets are leaking and I need to go back in there and retighten stuff it's just a guarantee to make sure that there's no moisture that goes into the quartz sleeve to where it can get into the electrical components into the bulb and blow the bulb because the bulbs are pretty expensive they're like I think they're 60 bucks for a, a 40 watt bulb so I want to make sure that there's no moisture that gets into the bulb so I'm going to hook this up into my bathtub and let it run for a half hour so I got it hooked up into my tub right now and I got the uh, paper towel on the end on the end of the uh, quart sleeve just so I can see if there's any water leaking then I got the hose hooked up to the pump and then the output so I'm going to turn the pump on and let it run for about a half hour just to make sure there's no leaks You hear all the air getting pushed out. So, so far it looks like it's leak free. see the output it's been running for 30 minutes now so I'm going to check everything make sure there's no leaks or moisture anywhere no moisture at all in the quartz sleeve so I should be good to go to install it on my aquarium and hook it up to the bulb and the electricity so now I can install the bulb into the, the quartz sleeve and then hook up the electric just got four prongs and then the electrical outlet has a four prong outlet and then this seals it in the end
bulb, you want the bulb to be in between the two inputs and outputs. So I have the, uh, the extension cord about four inches into the actual unit just to make sure the bulb is centered in between the inputs. So you just plug in the four prongs. It fits pretty snug, so you gotta kind of wiggle it on. And then just screw on the electrical cap. I can't get a grip on that, so I'm going to get a pliers. Now it says you only have to hand tighten this, but I can't really get a grip on it very well since it's a smaller nut. So I'm going to just use the pliers just to gently tighten it. And then there's another nut that fastens up against the actual unit itself just to make sure the screws and the threads don't back out. So I'm just going to lightly tighten that. Now everything's solid and tight. The electric is installed onto it. So now I can install it onto the aquarium, onto my sump. Got it installed on my tank finally. I actually didn't really know where to put it. Because even though my tank is down in the basement, I have so much stuff going into my 50 gallon tank that everything's just clustered. And I didn't know where to really put it. So I just hung it over the front of the aquarium. You can see the UV light there is on. And then the flow. And this is the intake. And right there's the pump. Right beside the protein skimmer. And then the output goes down over there in the last chamber. So we'll see how everything does. See if it clears up my ick problem. I ran the electrical to keep it out of the way. I just mounted it. There's the electrical box I mounted it up against the ceiling. Then mounted the uh, electric up against the ceiling, keep it away from the water. So after adding all my new fish, I'll see how they do and see if it clears up the ick and see if my fish are healthy from now on. My bio pellet reactor still working really well. Everything's tumbling. So I'll see how that does in the next couple months here. So now I pretty much have everything set up how I wanted it. I've got lots of filtration to control my nutrients. Got the UV sterilizer now, big protein skimmer. Got my RODI water all set up with all my filters. So I'm pretty happy with my filtration setup now. So now I can have fun with stocking my tank of fish and coral frags. And I don't have to worry about 
fish disease anymore and my water parameters are good now so we're, I can start growing more coral frags and I can start investing more money into the tank.